Hello. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Let me know, please, you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Can you hear me? Okay, that's good. Okay, let's pretend that nothing happened, okay? Let's continue. <laughs> you know, I just, I did this with this paint, I just cover it all over to start over again. Okay, let's continue. Okay, and I use this color. This is just a uh, camion yellow, camion red, and white. Okay, I'm gonna say the colors again. Titanium white, camion yellow hue, camion red, red hue, permanent alizarin crimson, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, chrome green hue, and ivory black. Okay, now I'm gonna just start with this paint with the face of the kid, maybe around here. And the dog is gonna be around here, okay? I, 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 I don't know what happened with the audio. Okay. It looks like everything was okay. I don't know. I think maybe it's because I used to connect two webcams to my computer. And sometimes just the, the audio is like, a, a, to be honest, I, I don't know. Okay. I'm just drawing with this. Just squinting my eyes. Okay, trying to just copy the, this light shape. When I see the the, uh, the dog uh, head, I'm trying to see this, okay? Everything with, with the ears, and then here the head. Okay, now here's the same. I'm trying just to look something Simple, a simple just shape. At the beginning, it's just something just flat. That means it's usually a geometrical shape, like a triangle, a rectangle. It could be something like this. Excuse my eyes, it should be a little bigger. Okay. I'm going to make the eye here, eyebrow, nose, chin. Obviously, right now I'm just using simple uh, proportions from the eyebrow to the nose to the chin. And you look from the middle from the nose to the chin, the middle is going to be, uh, it's not going to be the, the, I mean, the mouth is going to be uh, the lower part of the lower lip, okay? That means that if here's the mouth, let's say here's the mouth, here it's gonna be the middle. Okay, always is pointing my eyes. Okay, let's grade down this color a little bit.
I'm stepping back and trying to calculate the distance. I mean, making some visual measurements from the top of the head to the bottom of the nose. The eyes kind of the middle. It's going to be around here. Hello, everybody, again. Thank you so much for your support, I mean, because you're, you're here again. <laughs> Hi, Fiona, Joyce, Fari, Alarma. Okay. Uh, Alarma, thank you. Fati, D. Katz, Michael. Okay, Maggie, Rob. Malik. Okay, let's continue. Show Dari Mervat. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Let's add uh, uh no, this image is beautiful. Okay. Yes, I mean I'm gonna add a little bit of color, but not not that much because I just basically today I just wanna wanna enjoy just copy this image. And add maybe some blue. Because you know, if I have, if I have a lot of uh, orange, let's say orange, this color, orange, orange. Okay. I mean, usually, we choose the complementary color. Just yes, to create harmony. That's that's the logical thinking. Just okay. If you're working with a lot of yellow, you can choose violet. If you're working with a lot of orange. Okay. You choose blue or vice versa. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying that's gonna add a lot, a lot of blue, but maybe just thinking right now where he, he could fit this blue. But let's say I'm gonna mix a little bit of blue and cerulean blue and a different crimson and white. Okay, something like this. I don't want a pure blue, kind of mm, a little bit to the purple side, the violet. Okay, maybe I can make it here. The shadow. That means I can add here. Here. You know, during the process, we think we start just making decisions, taking decisions. Nothing that it's going to be just the same from the beginning to the end. Because you know that sometimes we love something like this. I mean, I love this blue right now. But as soon as we start working more and more, we see that the blue is not okay here. And then we just cover that the blue. We get rid of that blue and we change it if we want. Mixing yellow, red, and cerulean blue. A little bit of green. Squint. I keep squinting my eyes. Can you see the lights just in the uh, the dog head? Like here, 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 here. That's what I'm trying to copy. I mean, that's what we do when we try to draw and paint at the same time. When we draw, usually it's a linear drawing. But when we paint and draw, we gotta just copy the, uh, the shapes of lights, mid-tones, and shadows. Okay? That's drawing and painting at the same time. Because I mean, we paint, we are not gonna go just making lines with this. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. 
Then from the beginning to the end, you gotta be thinking if the color you're applying is warm enough, cool enough, brighter, duller, lighter, or darker. Okay. And always thinking about the focal point. When, when we have two elements or more elements, we gotta decide which one is gonna be the focal point. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be just one focal point. In this case, the human head is always, I mean, we drive our attention always. But in this case, the dog is closer to us and it's bigger. Yes, I mean for me, maybe I can add more color to the dog and a little less, little bit less color to the kit. That means that these highlights on the kit that's not gonna be the, the same highlights on the dog. Okay. Yeah, these highlights have to be a little bit duller, and this one should be a little bit brighter. Maybe because I mean the, the dog is you gotta pass forward. Because it's closer, closer, uh, closer to us, and uh, you know that the, the the way to create the illusion of depth is just value, of course, of value and color art just together, and we can take just advantage that we can just use color to create or to add to the illusion of depth, uh, the illusion of warm colors pops up and cool colors uh, recede. Okay, having that in mind, we continue just painting and every time that you, we continue painting, we gotta just pay attention that not to go maybe too bright with the kit. The only good thing about this this painting uh, advantage, let's say, that we can use the same colors from here and here. I mean, it's, at the end, we gotta change that because I mean, obviously the dog is gonna be more yellowish, orangey, and the skin is gonna be more grayer. Okay, this red is warmer, this is cooler, okay? Obviously, I'm going to the shadow. I need, need to knock down the color. And let's see if that works here. You know, the process of painting is just making a lot of adjustments, sorry. Here and there. All these those adjustments is about values and color. You can pick this one that is warmer here. You can change to this one cooler just here. That doesn't make any difference. Eh? You can go here. And here's gonna make a difference. Okay. Okay, I'm stepping back, I'm just thinking about the whole image and color. This we gotta just try to split our time thinking color, thinking about values, obviously always thinking about proportions, the proportion of the face. Always uh, making visual measurements. Okay, let's take, uh, let's say uh, here in this image, I can use this point and from here, 
measure this to here. You see the whole head and down. The chin, the chin is kind of in the middle. A little bit up here. Okay. Now let's think about a little bit about color. Because this thing, this blue is gonna add a little bit of just more, make it more interesting. Color, color always make images more interesting. Just trying to control this. You know, I'm going little by little. This is too light to be here, but it could work as a reflection. I could make it work uh, a reflection here. Mm. Or maybe not. I'm just adding a little bit more of chroma. Chroma, it means that the color is a little more, uh, is saturated a little bit more. Masik, doing Rembrandt dish today. <laughs> uh, a little bit. And the blend a little bit. This green here is perfect because it creates a lot of contrast with red on the chin and cheeks and with the reddish of the, the ear. Okay. 
I'm going to knock down this color here. That's too much. Okay. I know it's. Let me just continue painting. Now I'm going to change to a smaller brush. This liner brush that I usually use. Because I just this one just to draw. I always think this about these brushes like the uh, like pencils. See, we're still the one. We always need one lighter and one darker. Every time I want to paint the nose or around the nose, I add more red. These brushes are really so cheap. Look what happened to them all the time. But, but I mean, but I'm gonna still, I'm gonna buy these ones maybe for a long time because they are so good. Okay, but I mean, they don't last for a long time. Uh, something like that usually happen. But anyway. When they are sharp, honed, and perfect, this brush just works perfectly.
Now let's blend all the contour. Little by little, blend, clean out your brush, and then again. The value is now right here. You can make it darker. I gotta check out the comments. Maybe you don't hear me anymore. <laughs> okay, Ian Girl Gardley, high rise. Do you ever do loose painting or always take them to high finish? Okay, uh, I mean, what can I tell you? I mean, if you check out my channel. You're gonna see I me mean, mostly like 70% are more like uh, I used to blend a lot, but you're gonna find a lot of them that I just just really uh, uh, some. I mean, I'm not gonna say it like this. I, I, my brush is strong, I just so loose, but I gotta say that you're gonna find that a lot of them when you can uh, see just uh, I mean, the brush, the brush stroke are so visible, so clear. I mean, I love to blend, but I don't feel like I take my paintings to like a high level because I mean, three hours is not enough time. I just try to get, uh, try to make a, as much as possible with the time that I put myself. I mean, I put my my limit is three hours. I mean, if I need more, I, I, if I if I have to spend more time. I, Definitely, I, I, I will do it, but I try to finish in three hours. Uh, okay. Oh yes, Monique. Uh, she uh, purchased one of one painting that I did. It was an exercise of three minutes, thirty-five minutes painting. It was just with really heavy loose brush strokes. But for me, I mean, so clear as you see my channel that what uh, I like the most. But uh, for me, it's, it's not like I'm not, not really worried about the brush strokes. It's just sometimes I feel like I gotta blend it more. Sometimes I gotta leave just the brush strokes. It's more about for me always to try to be aware of the, the, the food process. Be aware of the colors that I use. Be aware of these three questions that we should should ask to ourselves during the whole process. That I used to repeat them a lot. Like, 
about the colors. It uh, should be lighter, darker, brighter, duller, warmer, cooler. I mean, uh, if, you, if we keep that, that in mind and we are able to control that, it doesn't matter if your painting is going to, it's going to be soft or loose. I mean, and it, that's not, that's not going to make the painting better. Control that color theory, control all of that. That's going to make every painting better. That's why uh, when, if, when we study color theory, uh, the teacher never says, I mean, you want to apply this color theory with, uh, with this kind of brush strokes. I mean, it doesn't have to do anything with that. Color theory is color theory for everybody. It doesn't matter if you paint landscape. It doesn't matter if you use watercolor, if you use oil paint, if you use acrylic paintings. If you just paint for just paint walls, it doesn't matter any paint that you use. Color theory is just color theory. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna just cover all the blue because definitely this blue is gonna create more volume here, the, uh, the dog's face. And okay, let's see, because it's, you know that this is about adjusting all the time, controlling and going over and over on the paint, making the color brighter or duller, just thinking about that all the time. I mean, right now, you're just gonna add more white, more yellow. That means obviously this color is warmer and brighter. And sometimes I just want just to add, let's say, just white, no yellow at all. This color is gonna be different, but sometimes that's what I need. Let's say here, here I need this, for example. And here, I need this. Why? Because the, I'm trying to create the illusion that the head is going like that. Just because of that. Yeah. I know that this thing about making these subtle changes, it's not gonna make maybe a huge difference. It's because, uh, I mean, you're gonna hear for every word that usually painters used to say, uh, value makes all the work and color takes all the credit. Okay, and, and always you wanna hear Another painter saying that value is king in painting. And that's okay, but I mean, the value and color, you cannot separate value and color. They are just together. Okay. And, and, I mean, it's going to be different. You want to just paint black and white images. I mean, that's another story. But usually, you cannot separate color, value and color. And since we know that some colors pops forward and some colors recede, then we can add that to value. 
and then we can just add that little thing that's gonna just enhance the depth in our paintings. Okay, the, the illusion of three-dimensionality. Even is even is just one percent. Okay, just one percent. That's gonna be all uh, something. Wow, well, I don't know what happened. Where, where this group came from? <laughs> okay, thank you, big. Bibi Joe, Julia, hello Dennis, Maggie, is that your dog or so? I hate barking the other day. No, no, that's not my dog. No, I just found this image in Pinterest. The link to the image is in the description box. Mm. Yeah. Hello, oh my god, you're framing a painting. <laughs> okay. Uh, ask me some question, guy. You make me feel alone here. <laughs> yeah, that would be, just ask me any question, that would be really, really, really good.
Okay. Now I gotta decide. I mean, I, you can see clearly in the image that the light is here. Uh, not here in the nose. The nose is goes goes a little bit to the to in shadow. I, I say that because usually the the dogs the, the dog dogs 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 nose is shiny. Yes, I'm pretty sure if the light was just all the whole face. We should see some shiny on them on the nose. That means that we have to just concentrate these warm, warm colors just here in this part of the face. But this thing that I'm speaking about color that going warmer, cooler. I mean, we do all the time the same. We all do. We do. Everybody, I mean, all of you do, does, we do the same, all of us. The problem is just to know, to be aware of what you are doing. Even these simple steps or just to be intuitive. But that's a difference. Your wife, <laughs> but when Nick, okay, the Russian throw up putting all the dark background and then focusing on the dog body. Yeah, man, that, that, that's okay. Yes, I think that will be okay. Mm. Hi, Dita. Yes, I had, I had to start again. Continue working. Let's go back to the face, to the kid's face.
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm reading the comment. Michael is asking me, how many patrons do you have now? Oh, I have uh, 27 patrons. I didn't have any new patron for a week. That's going to be an excuse to put my patron here in the comments. Yeah, I'm not so good about promoting promote, promoting my patrons. Sometimes I just forgot to promote. I'm learning. Okay, always a little bit red, reddish. The color should be more reddish. It should be reddish here for the nose. The nose, the chin, the cheeks, the upper and the lower eyelid. Mm -hmm. Stepping back, getting close. I mean, this. I mean, this is gonna be difficult. I mean, this position of the head. I mean, that's something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Maybe the mouth is not okay. I mean, as soon as I paint more. I mean, today you know this is not about. May copy this exactly. I mean, when I paint a portrait, I usually I try to be accurate with the likeness. Not today, but I mean that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna try to uh, just to get the proportion all all okay, everything that okay.
was too much, but let's see if that's, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Always, I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking that I don't want this bright color to be as bright as any of these colors. I'm gonna keep the, the boy just one, let's say, one little bit far from the dog. Right now I'm just I'm just working on values, making some parts lighter, darker. Okay. You know that uh when we try to cut lightness, it's mostly about Get, I mean, they're drawing okay proportions, but I think it's most about values. Okay, the va values are okay. You're gonna add values with at uh, the proportion, and you start getting the likeness. Okay, okay let me see the comments. Mm. Mm. Oh, Dennis, maybe the jacket of the boy could be better in dark purple. Yeah, maybe it could, it could work. Yeah, purple, blue, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue. All those colors can work with this yellowish and orangey color. Yeah. Margie. What do you charge to do a portrait from the photo like you do in your demos? Okay. Like this one, let's say, this is, usual, this is a little bigger than the usual, what paintings that I usually do. I think this one is 12 by 10, 12 by eight. It's something like this that would be like 12, no 10, I mean 10 by, 10 by, by 8, let's say $160. Yeah. My colors are me about this color. This is chrome green. Let me read it. Chrome green hue. Yeah. Thank you, Munish Mera. I just I just bought this one uh, the special 
I bought this one for two dollars, I think two dollars. Yes. And it's been in my a box with the other color for months. And I gotta use it. It's an amazing color. Look at that color, it's beautiful. I don't want to waste my three dollars. <laughs> I, I have more colors, like there are colors that I just keep just for glazes, for glazing. This one, I think I have this one for a year. Number 16. I use this one, even it's just all full of dust. See this. I use this one just for glazes. That's it, just for glazes. I, I have never used this one just like in the palette, like for mixing, just glazes. And like this one, I have like six, seven colors that I just use for glazes. Six, seven, no, I think more. Okay, but I'm not gonna tell you those colors. Please, I'm not gonna tell you everything. <laughs> You're gonna go to my Patreon account. <laughs> I'm gonna show you everything here, but I'm not gonna tell you everything. I mean, all those colors that I use for glaze for glazing are colors that uh, I have tried for so many times and I just I have found them that they, they work perfectly but just in glazes I mean the result that you get by mixing those colors uh, with layers like because a glaze is a layer it's a not it's a, we mix the colors here like this or we can make mix the color just layer by layer adding layers over dry paint. That's what we do when we glaze. The colors that I, I use just works amazing for me. Veridian green, that just yeah, I love that color too. Veridian green. Okay, then is the group doesn't work. Yeah, maybe. Maggie, how can I send it to you? The photo and the money. Okay, gonna give you my email. Just write my email here. And that's okay if I make, if I paint your portrait here in a YouTube video, because that would be a good way, to, I mean, for, for me to paint, to enjoy the painting process. That's just, I mean, it adds add some excitement just to paint a commission here in the live stream. If I paint the portrait here alone in my home, it's too boring. Here's my email. Okay. Uh, Maggie Brooks, that's my email. You can send the image there. And the money is just paper. And if it's okay for you this size, and if it's okay for you to paint 
you brought in, in a in a live stream. I can just paint it tomorrow. Okay. I mean I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna finish in a live stream. And if you don't like if you don't want that, okay, uh then then okay, then then don't send me anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, do you know what happened? That's so boring for me painting commissions. The only way that maybe I, I, I could paint a commission these days is just by painting the commission here. You know, that's life of a painter is too boring just in my studio painting commissions. I don't want to do that. I just get used to this kind of excitement of making live streams. I think I'm gonna paint everything here in the live streams. Just one minute, guys. Si. Pide, por favor. Stanley, Sign it and send it to me. Okay, that would be perfect. How much should I pay? Uh, for this painting? You mean for this painting, Stanley? The, for this painting, I think it's going to be $160 too, because I mean the size. This is our small paintings, okay? But this one is usually, it's a little bigger than the, than the size that I usually paint here in YouTube. Somebody's asking me why I use student grade paints. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just I love these paintings. I have used Rembrandt. I have used Van, Van Gogh. I have used Amsterdam. I, I have some tubes. Uh, I have some really cheap, really cheap paints. I have this Georgian here. And it's like, uh, I don't know, I have a lot of this, just just like, there's no, for, I, I don't have any preference, I just, for me, it's just paint, I mean, it's paint, if it works okay, that's perfect. I remember uh, when I was living in New York for a year, I used to went to this store per paint and sometimes they have specials and I used to buy a lot. I mean, you find a lot of paints just for $1 or $2. I mean, you can buy a lot. I mean, with $50, imagine you have 25 tubes, sometimes 30 for, uh, 30 tubes and they had specials all the time because you know the tubes it was just about because the tube is just too was new it was kind of just like this one let's say this one is kind of not new but let's say just imagine just new but the, the I mean the, this the, the top the tip the top I don't know how to say it, call it I mean it's like this just because of this it's just go down to a couple of dollars. Maggie Brooks, you have a deal for 150. No, I told you 160. <laughs> maybe I maybe I said I said it wrong, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, 150, that's okay. But you gotta pay the shipping. Okay, because the I used to pay the shipping, but the shipping just went a little bit up, just twenty dollars, and the shipping is gonna cost me like forty dollars. I'm gonna just assume I'm, just, I'm gonna pay twenty dollars, and then you decline twenty dollars. Let me know if that's okay. I mean, I I mean, 
when I buy something, I just hate when somebody just say, okay, the price is just $200. Okay, that's okay, $200. Okay, the cheapy, the cheap, the cheapy is 50 Say, what? I don't want anything. I know the feeling. And I say, why don't you put the price and the shipping together in this in this way? I don't feel like, like I pay more. The only problem that would be is the paintings arrive from here, Peru, to uh, I don't know where, where you are, guys. Maggie Brooks and Stanley. Yes, you can use PayPal, Stanley. And uh, I don't know where you are, but I mean, the service that I used to pay myself, I mean, without charging the client, it was kind of $20 sometimes $50, it takes like 15 days. Now it takes like a month. And uh, now I'm gonna start just paying for the next service that is gonna cost like $30. And if I send, let's say more paintings, more weight, I mean, and they promised me that it's gonna arrive maybe in 20 days. I hope that happened. And then I absorbing twenty dollars and and adding twenty dollars to the shipping to the client. Okay, okay, stepping back. Okay, be careful with the ear. The ear is full of color, but I gotta keep this like a low chroma. I gotta make, I gotta, uh, we have to create the illusion that is full of red, but if you take the ear out from here, it's gonna be just a gray down red, red, a really grayish reddish color. Because if, if I make the mistake to make it too bright here, I don't want that, yes. I mean, the face is going like this. Yeah. And then this is, the, let's say, the first plane, second plane, third plane, they're going like this. You know, that's what I think in my head. I mean, sometimes that works. Sometimes it's just that the illusion is just so subtle. Adding more red here, more pinky color. Okay. And I'm keeping here this color with red. With red, with green. Red. Okay, sorry. I, I mean, that uh, happens to me all the time. I'm just confused the words because I'm just speaking and thinking here. Just my brain, my brain doesn't work. Yeah. Another another woman I said or I was reading that women just can just keep attention to 
do things for real without uh, losing the attention of two things at the same time. I mean, when you see a, a woman studying and listening music, they are doing both things. I mean, for me, it's not like that. I mean, or, or I listen music or I study. I cannot do, do both. Thinking about value, thinking about values again. Here it should be this should be a little bit darker. Oh. Somebody was asking about my PayPal account, I think. Stanley, you were asking about my PayPal account. My PayPal account is the same with the same email. Renzo Castaneda X2, Gorba Gmail. Okay, I'm gonna put it again. My PayPal account just works with this, the same email, okay? Let's ch change this. Let's see if it could work with a really warm shadow. I was watching uh, a couple of days ago some really amazing painter, digital painter. And I was watching how easily they make these changes about temperature. They go cool to cool. I mean, obviously it's just the, the tool. I mean, that's easy. 
but I was kind of envious. Some, I felt some envy because, I mean, that's so easy for them to go to change and see if that works or not. And if it doesn't work, if it didn't work, just put it back again. For us, for us uh, as a traditional painter, it just takes this, do this, do, I mean, we have to do it in order to see if that works. Yes, and if it doesn't work, we gotta put it back. Yes. I don't know, maybe if I find a balance between these two here. But the, the thing that I love about this color, kind of bluish, is that creates some kind of transparency. Okay. And this warm, right? It's kind of maybe it, it, it that color adds some it's gonna it's make it warmer, but it's make it more too solid. Okay. And maybe I find a balance between those these two. You know that that's usually that happens with, with cool colors, really cool colors feels more transparent, okay, always. Like a violet, purple. If you add a little bit of white to a purple and you add in a shadow, but you have to make it work. You have to make it work with everything around. It, that's gonna add some transparency to the shadow, okay? And I mean, if you add this shadow too dark, I mean, that's gonna create the op opposite effect because a purple, too dark purple is, looks like black. In order to see purples or violet colors, you, you always, I mean, I prefer to add a little bit of white to those colors. Mm. I think that's okay. I, I gotta get, uh, I gotta do the same here. No. No, I, I gotta just blend this edge. Yes, you, you feel, I don't know, I'm trying to make the feeling that here is, I mean, the a focal point and around the head is just blur. Just to drive the attention, obviously. Just directly here. Okay, I can keep this ear, sharp, this side, and blur, soft, this side. Not so sure yet, I mean, we, uh, we have to see everything that we do, we have to just let it rest for a, for, for a while, and then come back and see if that's working okay. And double check, and if it's not working okay, we make a change. Uh, Denise is asking me, oh, Sabrina, sorry, what happens with all your paints on the palette if you don't use, you don't use them? 
Okay, I mean, for me, I used to take these colors for the next painting. Sometimes I just forget and this, just get dried here. Just dry the color here and then you stay there. I mean, I used to keep this always, the painting with the palette. I, I mean, I, I, I got a, a, a lot of these paintings, all of them with the palette. This is started like I started this because because of the YouTube because it was so complicated just for me to put a couple of cameras, three cameras, one camera for, to my palette, the other camera to to my face, the other camera to the painting. I mean, I tried to do that. Even I was using some OVS program to do that. It was just so difficult. At the end, I just did, uh, I came out with this. Because a lot of people just was asking me, I mean, in my Spanish channel, okay? Uh, was asking me, okay, um, that would be nice if we see the palette. Because we don't see the palette. I mean, we don't see, how do you mix the colors and all of that? And I say, okay. And, and this is perfect, yeah, because we can see the palette and I can explain better when I, what I'm doing with the colors. Now you know how I played with the color here, how I go to warm the color or kill down the value or make it a little bit, bit greener here because I add green to this portion, a little bit darker here, a little bit reddish, a little bit dark, kind of reddish, but with this one, and that means that it goes to the violet side, kind of, yes. And this one with more yellow, that means that it's more warmer than this one. In all of those elections, all those things that we have to do with color. I'm going just to tone down this. I feel that it's too yellow. I mean, I was working with that because I just wanted the dog to pop forward. And that's so obvious that that's, that happened. You feel the dog and you feel the kid. I kind of, I did, <laughs> I was thinking about that. It kind of exaggerated think that, that too much. Yes, I need to, I feel that I need to just kill the yellow here a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna leave it just like this for now. I'm gonna work on the kit. And then I'll be back working on the dock and see if that color, if I gotta kill that that, that yellow or not. Okay, somebody's asking me, Sadia. Also, Mayel, what is the surface you are using to paint on this canvas? This canvas. What, which store do you recommend for our materials in America, Virginia? Okay, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not in USA. I don't know too many stores. When I, when I was speaking about pear paint, it was about 15 years ago. Pear paint doesn't exist anymore. But people used to buy, I mean, uh, through Amazon. I mean, Amazon maybe is just the best option to find any material. 
if you're gonna buy, you, you don't, you're about to buy uh, using Amazon, use my links. I have affiliate links in my, in every of my videos. In this way, I can get a commission. Munish Meta, I'm making my new painting. Oh, congratulations, awesome. Okay. Uh, Sabine is asking me what if I use the lost the left, left leftovers in another painting. Yes, because I'm trying. I paint daily. I paint every day. Okay. I try to draw draw every day too. But these days it's kind of difficult for me to draw in because I I have another channel. Okay, by the way, a drawing channel. And I've been making a lot of live streams, but this week. I didn't have the time. The morning I've been doing some things because I used to do a live stream every morning, and then if the afternoon afternoon I used to do, I used to make this live stream in this channel, and then at night I used to, I used to I say because I'm not doing this for maybe a, a couple of months in my Spanish channel another live stream. I was drawing in the morning. I was painting a portrait here in the, the afternoon and at night I was painting it in my Spanish channel. So I, I stopped do, do, doing that for a kind of a couple of months because I mean I mean it's like not daily, yes like every two days. Because I, I have been doing a lot of things in the morning and I didn't have the time. And in the afternoon the same. Usually at night I, I have private lessons, one-to-one -one lessons, and well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't have enough time. For me, I will quit all the lessons. I mean, sorry for my students. <laughs> I will just spend the time painting and painting. And I'm not going to say that I will quit the lessons because, you know, when I give one-to-one -one lessons, I used to paint with my students. We paint alone. That make, makes the process more enjoyable for me. And I think that's really helpful for my students. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can make a decision here on, on his neck. I can make it darker here and create the illusion that is turning just like this or, or, or I just copy the image let's see if I add some right here
Okay, Stanley, sorry, sorry, I cannot buy it. I only got 20. Okay, no, no problems, Stanley. Uh, okay, okay, no problem, Stanley. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Sabrina is asking me hello, how you been painting? You're very talented. Thank you so much. I mean, the painting, I don't know, more, more than three years. Thank you, Irma. Hello. How many kids do I have? A couple. A daughter and son. Thank you, Divan. Let's see, I mean, I, I added this and I don't think that works. Need to work on his nose. Okay, okay, okay. You can add more red here.
¿No está allá afuera? Ya. Sorry about that, this is my son. I'm going to read the comments. Okay. okay. Thank you, Alexandra. Stanley. Okay. I was at K9 Hendler in the US Air Force in, Fra in France in the 60s. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Herbs, uh, okay. will you do something about the dog body? I mean, I, I think it looks a little bit cut with that too dark background. No, 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 no anything. Yeah. Mm. Uh, definitely here I'm going to blend more. But I'm not going to do that much. I think I, I, I got to spend more time the face and the head. Yeah. If doggy is sleeping, <laughs> Mervat, hello, Mervat. Okay, oh, I understand, Mervat. This is definitely the crisis, definitely is gonna end. Someday. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's continue. I, I, I was where I was. I mean, I was, I was. I don't remember. I mean, I was just. I think here.
Thank you, Stanley. Stanley says the painting looks better than the picture. Michael is asking me, are you cooking today or ordering food? In. No, I'm ordering food. Yeah, my son just went to uh, to open the door to get the, the delivery food. Yeah, cooking is not my thing. I mean, that's sometimes uh, sometimes you just like uh, start cooking like every day. And I got the feeling like I, I gotta cook daily. I'm getting better. <laughs> it, it takes too much time, yes. It takes too much effort. Okay, I'm going to kill a little bit of this yellow. Make some green, red. Killing that yellow with a little bit of violet, violet, and, and I will add more, I'm gonna mix more those colors, a little bit there. Here a fan brush. Okay, it was here a minute ago. 
I just have too many brushes here. Oh I just would love, would love to show you. But I'm gonna pick up some of, just a portion of the brushes that I have here. See this? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. And I love to see this in camera. Oh my god. This is just the half of the, of the brushes that I have here. My little table. So I'm gonna use this brush. And because of that, that's like, I, can, I mean, I saw the uh, fun brush to blend. And I just I couldn't find that brush again. I don't know where it is. These brushes are excellent. This is, uh, you see, Marius, Marius, Mary, Marius. I love these ones when I paint a uh, bigger painting because it has a long uh, handle. You can just drag it just from the end. Just step back and paint. really helpful but when I use I don't like to use this this when I paint uh, I mean the usual usual portraits I usually paint are, are smaller than this one and that happened to me yeah so many times that I touch the camera with the with the brush Okay, let's see, I kind of feel that kind of, uh, I, get, I get under control, under control this purple here with red. Okay, let me see what happened. I'm gonna check out again and again on that.
to my check the comments. Okay, oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. But, but I think you should take away the, the black. Uh, okay. Okay, yes, it's too much black. I think yeah, you mean this. Yeah, yeah let's see. I think I'm gonna add more black maybe here in this way that's uh, it's like if there is everything is black there is no way to to see that this is maybe black is done here and we just keep the tension on the head the face of the kid's face and the dog's face mm. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, he, he men or hi men. Yeah. Okay, Stanley. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I don't think that would be possible for me to show to show my dog because then I'm just. It's kind of, uh, I have here where I paint my, ta my small table with brushes. And below that, I have all the paints, all the oil paints, my computer to my left, and a lot of cables, my feet, to, uh, under my feet. Pretty sure my dog is get, get in here, it's going to be a mess. And she's a small, a really small dog, and sometimes she's quiet, but sh sometimes yes, she she cannot stop moving. And well, that would be I mean, so difficult to keep to keep her in here with me. I had a, a bigger dog, a bigger dog, a few years ago. I uh, used to paint with my dog here because he started to just to scratch the, the door and and crying. And the only way for me is to keep the dog here with me. I don't know. I mean, we just we are just keeping our, ourselves just picking up do dogs from the streets. My kids. Yes, and we have a cat, a small cat, and we will have two more cats for the next week. And my dog, my my son, he wants another dog, and he's like, "Oh, we gotta, we gotta go there to that." I mean, uh, to my uh, mother-in-law neighbor neighbor because there is kind of. Um, there is more movement on the street, more people on the street. It's like, uh, how can I tell you? I mean, this kind of, there is more movement. Oh, you, you see more people on the street. Here where, where, where I live, there are people, but sometimes it's like there is no one outside. Uh, Sundays is full of people. Sundays is just uh, some few guys girls, I mean, uh, some few people just with their dogs working on the street. Yes, but uh, my mother-in-law neighbor is uh, like full of people and full of dogs just walking on the street alone. And that's where we found a uh, little cat. <clears throat> You need to add a little bit of green here. I add green and add red.
it's kind of funny because there in my mother-in-law neighbor, it's like the virus doesn't exist. <laughs> A lot of people don't use masks. They just, they're opening their businesses. I mean, they just work and live in every time they go. I, I mean, it's kind of close to here. So I don't know why, I mean, I mean, well, that's kind of difficult to explain. I need to make his hair a little bit darker. Okay. And the sniper is a very nice painting indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Lisa, Edgar Page. He's asking me where, the, where am, am I from? I'm from Peru. Soy de Peru. If <laughs> you're a daddy jealous, yeah. Hard, hard job. I support Punjab farmers. Do you? Oh, I, I don't know what Punjab farmers is. Sorry. Oh, wow. Luis Lawrence, welcome to my channel. Harjot is another is a northern northern Indian farmer. Oh, nice. Make it, make the hair darker. I'm going slower now. Uh, no, just thinking if you know that I killed down the violet, I killed down the, the blue. I just thinking about making this a little. It's like I feel like I should add some accent. I'm just thinking right now. You know that I playing. I used to plan ahead this live stream to be in three hours because I need kind of in those three hours time to rest, let's say, every time that I check out the comments, kind of resting from the painting and to take decisions, to make decisions. Yes? I mean, to see if what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's trying to imagine what to do and thinking I need an accent and thinking about maybe at something like this. I'm going to do it if it's not okay, I'm going to erase it. And I'm thinking what brush to, to choose because maybe it's going to be about leaving just a brush stroke, just like this. Okay. With this vibrant color. Okay. And now this is about control because I feel like, oh my God, I love that color. And then I go crazy and I that start adding more and more. And then it's, it's not working anymore. Okay, first, I think I like this brush stroke. I, I gotta just let it dry, let it rest for a minute to analyze this better, step back and see if that's working okay. Because definitely we need an accent. We need accents. Yes. And since we are painting, we know that we have the possibility. Yes, we know that we can make those changes. 
I mean, right now I love that blue. I really love the blue. So I should, I, I, I just, I should keep the blue there or not? Maybe it could be an orange. Yes, maybe it could be a violet. Oh no. I still have time to uh, take decisions. Now I'm thinking about the dog face. Because you can see here this kind of yellowish with violet there. Mm, I'm just leaving there, that resting. I'm thinking about may maybe blending more. Let's blend more the yellow with the violet a little bit more. Right now I'm just going here on the head because it's just kind of distracting myself from the from the painting. Painting this. Oh, and you see this kind of light here? It could be a reason to add an accent. Maybe not too much blue. I think this one is okay, but too much blue. Not okay. Okay. Now, definitely, when you add some color, you need to spread that color a little bit. Uh, here, I have a little bit of blue. Oh, definitely here. If you add orange, you gotta spread the orange a little bit here and there. Yes, and but let's see. I mean, I'm not doing that yet because I don't know if this is gonna work. Because I could do, I should do this here. I will do it and let's see if that works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna erase this. This. Let's see. You know that. Uh, you know about the reflected light. The reflected light that means that all the color, all the colors reflect the light, and then then the reflected light carry inside the light. They say the color. I mean, it is the light hits the blue, and the light the light bones bones with a little bit of blue, and that's why we see blue here. We should see blue here. And if this was orange, we should add orange here. Okay. Let's see if that works. Mm. Oh no, kind of like it. And at the same time, it's like it's not like I don't feel like, oh my god, this is amazing. I don't feel that. It's like man, okay. Okay, it could work. Who knows? I could add more here too. If I add more blue here, because I should. I mean, that would be too much blue, blue. I'm gonna just keep it here. By not adding blue here, let's say that kind of bre breaking one rule about the reflected light. When choosing to do that, okay? That's different when you choose to do that. Because you, at the end you want to make the painting better, yeah? Okay. I think I need more pink. It's too much, but since we are working with wet, wet paint, we mix here and we mix here too. Making this color warmer. Okay. Now let's go back with this color on the dog.
Let's add a little bit of light here. gonna just keep just following simple uh, let's say no rules but let's say uh, the colors so they have to add the nose should be more reddish a little bit more red okay the lips a little bit more red just a little bit okay Just thinking. Mm, okay, I'll come here. Okay. A little bit of red here on the chin. Remember, you have to always add. I mean, you could, you could make it really visible, really noticeable, or, or you can make it so subtle. It's gonna be red, 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 and in the upper and lower eyelid. Okay. And obviously the ear is always, has a lot of red. But you gotta choose how much red how much reddish you do this, this part of the face. to red. Add more shadow here.
Okay, I'm going to read, read the comments. Hmm. Screen up to see if I have, see some questions. But it looks like the picture do you offer beginners that's on Patreon. Okay. Uh, on Patreon is about mostly about portraits. Yes. I mean to paint port to paint portraits that you should know how to mix colors, some harmony. Because I mean uh, one thing is just to be a beginner for an absolute beginner in painting. And to be a beginner using portraits. Yes, I mean, for me, I have painted uh, the first time that I, I, I have approached to paint portraits. I was painting still lifes for a year before to paint portrait. I mean, the still lifes is just a, per a perfect exercise to work, uh, to understand perspective texture, work on values, all of that. And then you can paint portraits just, I mean, uh, having some base about mixing colors. But I say mostly my patrons, they, I can say that mostly, uh, then they have like a really good idea about how to paint a portrait. Yeah. And some of them really have a really high high level. Okay. Now I changed my mind now because I was trying to keep the uh the boy, 
just far away. And now that I added more contrast, more light is coming forward. I need to work on the dock again and add a little bit more of light to the dock. Just some parts of the dock, just like here. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now, I'm gonna decide what to do with the background. I think that's okay. I think I could leave the painting even just like this. I mean, it's like, it's like, uh, I mean, that we have, have a face, a dog. It's kind of, I have enough. I don't need to do anything more, I think to the background or anything. Hmm. What I need to do is Need to go to it. And the next thing I need to do is I need to go to buy a a new microphone or a new camera, I don't know. To not have these problems with the audio. the face and a blue accent thinking about maybe if I change the accent no that, no that, no 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 that's that, there's no way I mean and just from the beginning I was trying to use simple rule if you have a lot of orange orangey color you gotta create harmony with an accent of the complementary color which is blue if I add let's say orange that would be too too orange, that would be orange. The face is kind of an orangey color, the dog is kind of yellowish color. More orange, no way. Maybe I could add some violet, even to the background. It could be, it could work, I think. Yeah. But I mean, that's okay for, for, for okay, okay. Well, I, I mean, it's always the same. You have, I mean, we have a lot of doubts, and there's no way just to imagine this. We think, we think, we think, and we gotta see if it's going to work or not. Mm. 
the only way is just to do it. And if we want this, I think I don't need, I just want to do it, just one brush, one brush stroke, just to see what happened. And maybe to add a little bit more of color to the painting, but I don't need that. I mean, that the face and the dog is just two big elements. That's enough. We don't need, that's why, that's why the, the photograph works perfectly with everything black around. If you see the image, uh, the photograph, this in my description box, you're gonna see that this just kind of, everything is black. It's kind of even difficult to see this reflection or even to see this, it's just like a crispy black. Okay, maybe I should just change the size of my brush stroke just to add more. Mm. That's, okay, let's do it. I feel like I'm doing something that is not, it's nothing. I mean, if I do this or, uh, or if I don't do this, it's gonna be the same. It's not, it's not gonna affect the painting. But anyway, let's go. Okay. Just gonna keep it there, okay? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, let me see the question. This painting is very, very expressive. Thank you, Stanley, expressive and impressive. Thank you, thank you, Joyce Monique. Some him of an arm working around the dog. Yeah, pretty sure uh, he's grabbing this. He's grabbing the dog here, yeah? And even here. Uh, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> yeah. Artesh was a good yeah, John, 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 yeah, he was. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's it. But one thing that I, I just, I feel that I, I should add more shadow here, but I, I see this more shadow, but I don't want to go that dark, okay. I mean, I'm, you know that no, I'm not watching. I mean, I just at the bigger image to my left. The bigger image is more like a more like the image in the link. You know, see, it's more black. This one is kind of wash out image because we are able to see some more, a little bit more. Mm. Then I try to keep the reds. I add a little bit of blue, a little bit of green at the beginning. We don't see that. When I was working the dog, I added some violet. Uh, maybe we see, we see a little bit of that. Then I added blue, violet, red. Then I, I try to make both of them just live there together. It's kind of okay. No, not fully convinced about this, but I think it works. If I don't think about that, definitely, maybe I don't think I see is this. I'm gonna just get gonna get rid of this. Okay. I see the dog. Yes. I mean, usually sometimes when 
will drive the attention to something. They say, this is a cool color. This is a warm color. That enhances the illusion of, of this is kind of round. That means that that enhances the illusion of three dimensionality. This. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. I mean, that's what I want to do always. That's why I use color value to do that. I try all the time to do that. Okay, now the kit obviously just normal skin color, some green, some red. Trying to keep the color kind of uh, not so bright. I was trying to keep the color not so bright. At the end, I added a lot of light, but I think that's okay. I feel like I should add even more light, kind of highlight, because kids, they always have, here is like painting a, a sphere. We have to, we need to get this, the chick delusion that something really round. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. We need to saturate the roundness of the face, which is perfect every time that we paint a kit. Should be this like a sphere. And this should be softer. Okay, now I make an accent, I did an accent, the blue. I think that works perfectly here with the with this. Definitely a cool color is gonna be always. It's gonna reset always. Okay. Sometimes I feel kind of compete with this one, but mm, I gotta live with that. Okay, sometimes I feel another thing that is this is too black. It's an, a, a big area of black. Mm. What makes me just try to, I think that's gonna be the idea if I do this just black, black. All this. Oh, I don't know. Mm. I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking right now about composition, thinking right now about. Uh, all the things is just like my thinking, thinking out loud, okay? Color of the face, okay? Volume of the face, okay? I get the roundness, okay? I try to keep this color different from this one. I didn't add this uh, kind of uh, sharp edge here because I wanted just to create the illusion that it's turning. That's okay. The ears is red, but that's not that red that come forward, okay? Mm hmm What else? What is? I was trying to control all of that. Yes, I mean, it's difficult to keep always all the attention on the painting because that kind of take out the, the, the I don't know, the feeling of we are, we are uh, relaxing ourselves when we paint. Uh, definitely when I paint a landscape or still life, I'm definitely relaxed, more relaxed than when I paint a portrait. I'm gonna just soft this shadow here, okay. Maybe a highlight to the nose. I didn't add any highlight to the nose, just like that. Mm. Okay. 
I need to put a little bit more attention to the ear because I mean, I'm not this thing about thinking that make the ear recede because I think, I mean, the head has this form. I mean, I think I kind of exaggerate just simplifying the ear. I need more, a little bit more of detail to the ear. So more highlights. Definitely when you add highlights to the ear, they shouldn't be like a bright like this. Not like this, obviously. If you paint alone with me, I mean, you can let it dry. Uh, you can fix all those things about values with glazes. Because you know, we apply a glaze here and definitely we can we can kill this color. We can gray down the color. We can do a lot of things. It's always a good opportunity to have the possibility to glaze. Okay. What is, what is, what is, highlight here. Always trying to think that everything in a uh, child face is round. Even this, I mean, I'm making a mistake here. You realize about this. You should have a curve here. I pronounce more that curve. Okay, you know that, I mean, I copy the image, obviously, but I, I help myself just by, uh, let's say, knowing the form. If I know this is a round, round, spherical shape, I try to exaggerate that. And then, then you know, that's not, it's not just about copying what we see. We have to add sometimes just simple knowledge that we're painting something round. We gotta exaggerate, exaggerate that. Yes. Okay. And I did this. I try it. I would like to add more light here. I really would love. But if I add more light, more work here, that means more work here. Okay. And I think that's it. I did. Okay. I, I think I'm gonna paint the dog's eye. I don't see his eye. Maybe just a highlight. I insinuate. Nine. Okay, this, this doesn't work as a highlight. A little bigger maybe. Yeah, maybe that helps. Hmm. Okay. Now the brush strokes, I mean, I was thinking about blend everything. It go really soft. But now I thought, I when I, when I the first, the first blending I did, I saw I didn't like what I see. I mean, I prefer this brush stroke kind of, it creates more something more soft. It, it adds some, something like, you feel like is how do you say melting? Melting, that's the word. 
and then ice cream, ice cream is melt, it's melting. That's what I'm trying to say. I think this this kind of brush stroke at that it makes believe that is fair and is soft. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. I was trying to explain what I was trying to do. Maybe another thing I, uh, I would like to do is just add, why not some highlights? Because we always see the dog's has the nose wet. A little bit of that, I think that's going to help. <laughs> there, I mean, there are more details that we can make, but that's enough for today. Like I, like I always say, you can go now, you can leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to paint just for a little bit. And if you want to be here with me for these last minutes, don't say anything. Don't breathe. There's something wrong here. I mean, I, I just realized this. If I add a little bit of light here to make this the, his chin more like a an egg, egg shape, more spherical, it's gonna help a little bit. Okay, I'm using this color because I'm gonna add some light here, but this light it shouldn't be too red. Let's see, we start adding some just warm uh, lights everywhere. It's not gonna work. I mean, in order to keep the eyes on the warm lights, all the other reflected lights it should be grayer, greenish. You, I mean, you gotta choose. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah.
That's my neighbor, baby. I don't know if you could hear her. Okay. I gotta go now, I'm hungry, I gotta eat. Thank you guys, thank you, all of you. Take care, see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. <laughs> Ardesh, if you love to hear organic background. Okay, okay, that's... The <laughs> okay, that's, that's funny, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, take care. Bye. Okay, if you say we don't go very soon, I take a beer first. Oh, that's a, always a good, a good choice. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. I'm not, I'm not here anymore. This is not my hand. Okay. I'm gonna make it this soft, just this little thing. And then I will go. Yeah, that's it. Bye.